in the clips earlier, we got the pieces of black walnut all scuffed up, sanded, hit it with the flap wheel, knocked any loose imperfections off. So that way when we do pour the epoxy, we get a nice bond here. So we're going to be using ice epoxy today. It's a two to one deep pour. And of course, as always, we got black diamond pigments and we're going to go with aluminum. All right, guys, we're going to pour the two to one. So what you do here, it's going to be a 60 ounce pour in this cup. So what we're going to do, we're going to pour 40 ounce of the A. All right, now we gotta add 20 ounces of the part B. All right guys, you're gonna mix this until about five, six minutes. You don't wanna see any strings and you want this to be completely clear. But obviously I'm gonna be adding a pigment, but I mix that very thoroughly before I add this, that way I know that both parts are combined. Add some aluminum from black diamond pigments. So for about this much epoxy, I'll usually start with three scoops. I want to say that's five grams, honestly not sure. but. As soon as you start mixing it, you could eyeball it up. If you need to add more, you could always add more. Pretty cool color. I haven't used this one yet, so I'm excited to see how this one's going to turn out. Right, so we got this poured it's looking good i don't know if i'm gonna leave it do its own thing or if we're gonna add swirls into this or not but uh definitely digging that color we'll come uh check back on this tomorrow morning see how it looks see what we want to do with it then stay tuned